everybody, Laura here. I'm excited to be joining you for my very first Make It Monday video. And uh, it's a great honor to be doing this. Today, I'm gonna show you how to color embossing paste with your reinkers. I'm starting with my, um, this Mighty Bloom cover plate. I die cut two of those out of some scrap white cardstock. And what I'm doing is creating my own little DIY stencil for my embossing paste. So you don't have to go and buy stencils. You can use those dies and get creative and create your own stencil. So I layered two of them together just to give a little thickness. And now I'm adhering this over um, a card front with some post-it tape. Now here's my white embossing paste. This is Wendy v Vecchi or Vecchi. I'm not sure how you say that name. Uh, it sounds Italian, but anyway, okay, so now I'm adding one drop of Hawaiian Shores Reinker, and uh, you can always add some more if it's not dark enough. I think I ended up adding one more drop, but you can make it as dark or as light as you prefer. And so now once you get that all mixed up, I am using these palette knives that I got from Simon Says Stamp, but uh, before that, before I had the palette knives, I just used old uh, gift cards and credit cards and stuff like that. So you can definitely make do with what you have around the house. Okay, so now I'm using my palette knives to kind of work that together. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of making a big mess. Is what I'm doing. So now I'm going to spread this on really thick in the beginning. And then when I'm all done with all my adding all my different colors, I'm going to smear it out. So at, at the beginning, it's really messy. It looks like you have created just an awful mess, but you want to get it on nice and thick. So once we get our Hawaiian Shores embossing paste, clear up our area and then start again with some more white embossing paste. And then I'm going to add uh, the next color of reinker I use is Aqua Mist. And so I'll add a drop of that. And this is great. You know, you can also use your ink pads if you don't have reinkers. If you just um, like smush your ink pad, like press it uh, against your craft mat, it will put a little ink on there. It might take a, a few presses to get as much. The reinkers definitely are a lot more um, potent. And uh, but you, if you don't have reinkers, you definitely can do this. I've done this with distress inks, work really good for this technique. But a lot of different um, inks work for this as well. Okay, so now we're moving on, and I think the next color is one of my all-time favorites, limeade ice. If I had to choose what my favorite color was of all the paper tray ink colors, it would definitely be, hands down, Limeade Ice. I've always loved the color green, but then when they came out with this Limeade, and I love the name Limeade Ice, the combination of the awesome green color and the awesome name together, it's just match made in heaven. And now you add it to embossing paste and bada boom, bada bing, you got magic, folks. You got magic. So now we're adding that to our, we're creating kind of a little ombre look with this Mighty Bloom design. This is a really, really pretty um, color combination. And we're going to finish it off with yellow. I added some Harvest Gold uh, drops of ink to the final little dollop of embossing paste. And we're going to smear that on nice and thick all around the edges. And you really don't need very much embossing paste. You always use less than what you thought. So it does last a long time. And now you'll see here, here when I go to smear off all the excess, I have a lot. And you kind of feel bad about all that was wasted. But uh, so now you see here when I smear and I smear it in and then I wipe it on my paper or my paper towel and just kind of smoothing it out and trying to slightly blend those colors together. Really pretty like. And it's really, really fun. I love doing this. I love getting messy and working with this embossing paste. You get a gorgeous texture, and then adding these colors really is fun to do. Okay, so now we're lifted up, and look at that. Voila, it's magic. Okay, so I let that dry. It took a couple hours, really, and I let that dry. I trimmed it out, and I'm popping it up with some foam tape. Now I'm taking this phrase play, phrase play number three die. I die cut three of those on some white cardstock, and I'm layering them together to make it nice and thick. I like to do that. It makes it real sturdy and it gives us some thickness that you normally would try to get when you use foam tape, but um, this just makes it a lot more sturdy. So I'm gonna take some Tombow Mono and just glue that right into the center of my bloom, just like so. And that's it. I added some clear sequins, some uh, different sizes of Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Sequins. Those are my favorite. Okay, now here's one other card I wanna show you. I did the same technique. Uh, I used the Polka Dot Parade Alphabet 
the uppercase alphabet. And I hadn't um, detached any of those letters. They're still all wired together. And so you can see that I ran it through three times. And, and then I'm uh, same thing, I adhered that over top of a card front. And this time I went more with the warm colors. I started with hibiscus burst and then orange zest, summer sunrise, and then finished off again with harvest gold. So you can see the sky's the limit really with this embossing paste. You can color it with any type of inks you have. Uh, I'm not sure if pigment ink will work, but the dye inks, um, definitely the reinkers are fabulous for coloring the embossing paste. But if you don't have reinkers, you can definitely smush your ink pad down, try different color combinations, try different dyes to create your own stencils. It's um, limitless what you can create. Okay, so for this one, this is a smaller card, it's three and a half by five. I use that circle scribbles die and I die cut a piece of vellum. You know how people like to do the loosey goosey um, loops of thread? I love to do that behind my sentiment. Sometimes in the middle of a card, I'll do some loose thread. Well, this kind of gives that same look, only I die cut it with that vellum, that circle scribbles die. And then I took the, the wet paint cuts and the wet, wet paint stamp set, and I put that together, and I'm adding some little glossy accent dots. And that's all for today's um, video. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day.